Destroyer, King Kidora, War Stew, Behemoth, Mothra. They're in this movie, but how? That doesn't make any sense. So, yo, what is up? Good guy. So, Godzilla vs. Kong. We got a new TV spot, which is actually does show us a lot of new footage, kinda. Now, after years of waiting, the MonsterVerse fans and casuals that are really liking this because the YouTube video has... It's so high views. So we're finally going to get to see this next month. Yes, I know it's been out a few days now, but for some reason it dropped the same day as the Zack Snyder Justice League trailer, which makes no sense why Warner Bros. would do that. So, yo, what is good? YouTube will stew here with a video breaking down the latest and greatest new information and stuff like that from the MonsterVerse. So if you are new around here, make sure to subscribe to never miss any of the videos. Check us out on Instagram at Stew if you want to know what the voice behind the face looks like also check us out on instagram at wash yeah i just said that so go check me out also twitter wash you g yeah twitter wash you g check me out follow me over there so we got a new tv spot that was released on the same day as the just six night cut which makes no sense because they're both under the warner bros branch because they're both being released on hbo max it's almost like warner bros are trying to sabotage the just six night cut and yes i said that i said it because it's probably true so let's get into this so there's enough new footage in the new tv spot to make it worthy of my time and worthy of me to talk about. Yeah, I've had a lot of people ask me on Instagram why I haven't spoke about it. It's because, obviously, I was doing the Justice League stuff. So let's get into it. So yet again, this trailer doesn't display Mecha Godzilla like everyone seems to think. But was you, it's not Godzilla. But was you, the atomic breath is Mecha Godzilla. But look at his eyes. It does not look like a mechanical being. And guys, you've got to understand, when they market movies, they have to stick to advertising and marketing standards. They cannot falsely advertise a movie for the whole whole marketing campaign and be like yeah guys got ya it, it was really mecha godzilla this time no because someone would sue him for false advertising yes i understand with avengers endgame it was misleading but not really it's not like they were saying thanos was a big bad and really it was someone like galactus or the living tribunal or war stew or nightmare or mephisto no they didn't do that so guys chill it is 100 percent godzilla and if it isn't godzilla i would do a freaking awesome giveaway after the movie comes out and you'd be like, yo, whooshed you, you're wrong. It was actually Mecha Godzilla all this time. And I'd be like, well, let's go after Warner Bros. Legendary because they lied to us in the trailer. So it blows my mind the way people still think this. So TV Spot opens up with a little girl who has some kind of connection to Kong. Eggs and the Skarsgård character says, we need Kong. The world needs Kong. She's the only one here to communicate with. Whilst this is playing, we see some footage from the main trailer. But what's interesting is what I was told from, okay, careful for spoilers, I don't want real life. Spoiler one. What I was told from the test screen information is they don't actually explain this connection and essentially they use the little girl to get Kong which is very very shady very shady so we've got a bunch of new shots on the aircraft carrier it looks like Kong is trying to kill Godzilla no 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 I'm joking it looks like Godzilla is trying to drown King Kidora okay it is King Kidora because Godzilla thinks it's King Kidora but really it's Kong we see Kong falling into the water clearly your boy can swim but Godzilla is the strongest in water and Kong should be stronger on land. You get me? We even see him roaring underwater. Then it kicks back into the fight where Godzilla gets his punch, where he gets his face punch off or well, not really he takes it like a man so we also see new shots new angles of godzilla's using the atomic breath and as i said in the prelogue for this video some people seem to think it's mecha godzilla due to his eyes i'm gonna zoom the camera in right now on the footage to his eyes just so you guys can look at it yeah you see it it's still godzilla it is not mecha okay godzilla 100 is in the same fight as we've seen kong jumping on godzilla with his storm breaker from thor the mighty thor himself jokes yeah yeah, what I'm saying here is it, it's the ending scene that we see in the first trailer. You know, with all the neon cool lights. After the atomic breath, we see Kong being floored by Godzilla. These TV spots and trailers will go back and forth, making you think that one will win, the other will win. When we know Adam Wingard's lying, there is no clear winner to this fight. Hence the title Godzilla versus Kong. So you know, there'll be some trailers, TV spots going, yo, Godzilla's winning. You get a lot of Godzilla footage in this. And it's, it's making it like Kong's getting his ass handed to him in this TV spot. But the next TV spot will be completely different. So in the next TV spot, in this trailer. It looks like Kong is dead. He isn't dead. He's just down. We see Rebecca Hall and Alexander Skarsgård char character looking in fear because everyone's told me that Kong is dead in this shot. He's not. Even people are saying to me, yo, War Stew, there's rumors that Godzilla die. Well, no, but we're going to clear up the rumors in a bit. But 
the next scene is even more interesting. We see the little girl communicating. The caption comes up on the TV slot. Please be careful. She's using some kind of symbiotic sign language to communicate with Kong. And she has a connection with Kong, which is cool. And I re really hope they actually explain this. Then we see even more frames or shots of the main fight in all its glory. Loving the neon lights. We even see people scared running around in the building. It's so cool. It's a mega sonic fight. The spot flicks back and forth throughout the whole movie. You know, it goes from the start, you know, where the little girl seeing Kong to the aircraft carrier fight to the main fight. It goes back and forth with new frames. We even see Kong jumping like a freaking beast on the aircraft carrier, which makes no sense. His weight alone would destroy it. It would it would drown it. It would it would sink the, the aircraft carrier. But we get it for physics for the movie. He's got to be able to do it or else he'd drown. And the same with Godzilla. They both cannot jump on it. Now, what is interesting, let's address, actually someone asked me on Instagram whilst I was recording this what well, before i started making this video i looked through my dms to see if anyone was asking stuff yeah and someone asked me about the oh i've heard godzilla dies no that's not what happens but it could happen in theory but based on the test screen information no so the problem is adam wingard has come out and said there is a definitive winner in godzilla versus kong and then i speak to the person i know went to test screener i speak to a bunch of other people who i know who have watched it and they're like i guess you could say there is a winner but it, it's not like cut and dry it's not like yeah you got dominated it's like yeah you kind of just beat me which is interesting so let's explore the Godzilla dies theory. So after doing some digging, apparently there is a clause with Toho that says Godzilla will not be killed in the MonsterVerse. And this is the one rule in the contract. Now I can't confirm or verify it because I don't have any Toho sources. And the people I know that give me information about the MonsterVerse, they don't really know this information. But apparently Godzilla cannot die. He cannot die apparently. But why would he die? Because if they, you know, it's a franchise. They're not going to kill Kong Godzilla off. But in theory, they could kill Godzilla off. I'm not saying Godzilla gets killed off, but let's explore this version. So the current Godzilla we have was woken up by the atomic bombs in World War II. Anyone watching this should already know this. But this was the new Godzilla could have been sleeping even deeper down in the ocean and was left undisturbed in the events of Godzilla vs. Kong. Such as Monarch, you know, exploration in it to Hollow Earth could have awakened him from the slumber just in time for Godzilla 3, which could feature Godzilla's relative seeking revenge for whatever befalls Godzilla in this year's MonsterVerse release. Yes, I just wrote that into the script. Yeah, that's pretty bad. So what the theory could be, and this theory has been out there for over a year, no idea where it started, is that they could introduce a baby Godzilla into this movie. They could do that, I guess, because then the clause, if this clause is true, like I said, guys, I've got no idea if the clause in this contract is even real. I just thought I'd do a bit of extra information. So if the Toho clause is real that Godzilla can't win, in order to do that, they could introduce new Godzilla, hence Godzilla hasn't killed, wasn't dead, or something like that. So there is a toy that is going around, right? And you got to understand, toys aren't always real. We know this from Endgame toys, Avengers 3, Far From Home toys, and so forth. But if you look at all, like, the Mecha Godzilla, like, like the attributes of what Kong Godzilla are going to do in this movie with the axes and stuff, everything thus far for the Godzilla movie, Godzilla vs. Kong movie, has been real. So what I did is I googled Godzilla vs. Kong, baby Godzilla, and his website called Big Bad Toy Store, and they have a toy coming out that says Godzilla vs. Kong movie monster series Godzilla Minra or Minra or something like that which I presume means miniature something and mini like serious Godzilla Minra so is that saying Godzilla mini now this is on a pre-order and it comes out it's an American website it comes out on March 2021 it's $18 which I, I don't know I think that's like maybe 14 15 pounds so maybe that that maybe that confirms here it's gonna be a new baby Godzilla which actually has happened in, like, I guess you could say, the heritage. I don't know much about the MonsterVerse when it comes to, the, you know, the heritage of all these and the comics and all that kind of stuff. I don't claim to. I'm transparent as, yeah, you know what I'm trying to say. So it is interesting to me that maybe we could have another monster in this being Godzilla. Maybe. But as I said in the previous video, Destroyer could be introduced. And I've noticed since I made said video, I looked on YouTube, a lot of other people are now talking about Destroyer. Now, I just want to clarify what I said. I was not confirming Destroyer was in said movie. I said I was told about a post credit stinger to tease up the next big bad for this franchise because you got to understand Mecha Godzilla is going to be defeated. It's mechanical. It will be abolished. It will be destroyed. I mean, in theory, could fix it and stuff, but what's the point? Really, what is the point? If my boy Godzilla and my boy Kong is going to take it out, what is the point of fixing it up to bring it back again? To lose again? No point. So yeah, I was hypothesizing that maybe Destroyer could be in this movie and it looks like some other YouTubers have run with my story. 
It's cool, but next time, credit my idea, guys. I, I don't care if anyone copies or whatever, but just credit me if you're gonna do it, for God's sake. No, I'm joking, guys. I really am joking. I really love it when uh, other YouTubers and creators like take someone's idea but change it. So it is pretty cool, and yeah, it is cool. The MonsterVerse community on YouTube is freaking insane. So much props to everyone that makes Godzilla and MonsterVerse content. So like always, guys, check us out on Instagram at Wushju. Please check me out there at Wushju. Instagram at Wushju. Twitter, Wushju G. No, seriously, I've, I've just hit 2,000 followers on Twitter, which is cool, but we've got over 100,000 subscribers on YouTube. So I would like to try and grow the Twitter a bit more. So Wushju G on Twitter, if you could find me over there. My opinions on there are my own, and I'm transparent as air on there. And yeah, yeah, it's cool. Check out the Twitter sphere, guys. Check us out on the Facebook page, Wushju. And I will catch you in another video very soon. Catch you later.